Hey guys, we're going to be looking at some rims and uh, tires here, but mainly the rims and the, the width of the rims. Uh, so we've got a whole bunch of our rims here, uh, and I'm going to show you some problems you can run into here. Uh, but first of all, uh, we're going to educate ourselves. Right here on the sidewall is listed uh, 50 by 559. This is a Kenda mountain bike tire. So uh, apparently what that means, and this is for HE rim. That's what it says. Uh, not really sure what that's supposed to mean. Uh, but uh, we did some measurements here. And um, so th this is a Kenda mountain bike tire. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, kind of for mountain bikes. So um, a, a lot of these tires, uh, like IRC, they don't even mention that number. So uh, this number right here, uh, uh, the first two digits by the 559. So only some of these guys are mentioning this number at, uh, at all, but most of them have it. So what that what that number means, uh, I checked this uh, site, WTB. So those guys are making rims. And uh, they have two charts on there, uh, one for mountain bike and one for road bike. So this is, uh, I'm looking at the uh, mountain bike chart, right? So uh, it says that those two first numbers are the, the width of the casing. So the casing is the tire. And this is uh, the, the 559 is the diameter that's fitting uh, into the rim. So that's like the inside diameter of the tire. So it's going to be smaller than uh, the outside diameter, uh, which I measured to be 57 uh, plus or minus uh, 1 or 2 millimeter. And in this case, uh, this is where we ran into a problem. This one was like three millimeter more than 57 centimeters. So that's why the tires is really hard to put on a rim like that. Uh, so that's the Sun Rims uh, CR18 with the Shimano hub I have right here. So uh, every other uh, tire, there is no issue. You don't need uh, the tire levers. You, uh, you just put it on with your hands without any problems. Okay, so I was measuring also uh, of this rim we're talking about, the, the width of the rim, uh, uh, because I noticed it was more narrow. So what I found was, um, and in the other video, we, we were uh, measuring all the weights of all these tires. So if you're interested in that, check the other video. Um, but what I noticed when I'm measuring the size, the width of the, the rims, uh, these are budget rims. And it's a big, uh, you know, uh, they're all over the place. So uh, the sun rims, the one with the problem was the most narrow. It was about 19 millimeter. So I'm just measuring with a ruler. So it's not going to be very accurate, but uh, this is the best I can measure here. So that had a dual wall. So it's a good rim. But again, we can't fit no tires on there. It's too hard to do. So I'm going to have to try to find a tire that can kind of fit on there maybe more easier. Uh, otherwise, I'm not going to use that rim because I'm not going to be uh, stranded on the side of the road trying to get this tire off. So, uh, all these other uh, uh, rims are budget rims and they're all different sizes of width. Uh, uh, 22, 23, 20, 26. So, here's a really old one. It's a steel rim. It's, they were 26 millimeter. So, uh, right now, the, the real heavy duty mountain bikes are like a 30 millimeter. I'm going to show you what the chart says there. But uh, these are the ones I have. So this is all budget bikes, uh, basically. This one is dual wall, so that one's nicer. But uh, they're very uh, narrow. Here's one 26 millimeter. It's also a very cheap budget bike. So uh, uh, what this uh, website is saying is that uh, the wider the tire, I mean, the wider the rim, the more uh, stable it is. Uh, but it's going to be more heavy. So... Uh, uh, if you have a wider rim, though, you can run, they say, uh, lower air pressure because it's more more stable. Uh, but uh, th this is the recommendations. They have a whole chart there. Uh, if you want to run, like, really wide tires, mountain bike, then you need a wider rim uh, up to, like, 40 millimeter. But a lot of them are using 30 millimeter, uh, give or take. Um, so a long, lo long time ago, they were using a 19 millimeter and... Uh, in the 90s and 2000s, it started becoming like 25 millimeter. But as you can see, we got all kinds here, you know. Um, so, um, 
in the chart it will explain to you like what kind of uh, rim width you need uh, and uh, for, for the width of the tire you want to run um, so um, we also okay guys that, that's it for this video okay guys have a nice day uh, thanks for watching